Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Rim World. Checking things out, doing things, seeing where we're at. Who needs warm clothes? There are at least three colonists that need warm clothes. Oh. Kirill doesn't have warm clothes. I mean. Is it because you're wearing armor? That's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's because they don't have armor. Well, then they need to, like, stay inside or something. I don't know. Medical treatment needed. Prez. Why does Prez need medical treatment? Oh, yeah, he got into a fight. That's right. He got beat down. Actually, I think he got beat down twice. Yeah, you go rest. I got so many things over here. Hold on. Hunter lacks ranged weapons deadlift. But does he, though? I mean, does he need, does he need a ranged weapon to be a hunter? I mean... I'm just going to take him off of there. That way we don't have that on anymore. I guess we could put him as a handler. Eh, he kind of wants to war, warden some stuff. We'll put him as a four on each one of those. That way, if he does improve, he improves. So, one of those deals. Oh, Donk wants higher combat training. Well, let's run, let's run you up to a two then. So does Prez. Prez wants to be that all-around fighter. Anita says she wouldn't mind. All right, yeah, we'll just up a couple of them and we'll see what happens. Because it seemed like for a while, only Kirill and Pepe were using the training room. But we'll see what the rest of y'all got. Party. Who is having a party? Kirill is throwing a party. We'll let them do that. See what happens. Royal Tribute Collector. Yeah. There are people who have relationships with them. Grandson of Elite Mercenary Lee. Who? You mean prisonerly? Hold on. What do you mean elite mercenary? He is an elite mercenary, isn't he? Hmm. I'm not king of pirates. Seriously? An abandoned orphan and king of pirates. And I have him in, in my stuff just locked away. Eh, well. Whatever. As long as he's in there, it doesn't matter to me. You keep messing with stuff and I'll break your kneecaps. You just remember that. All right, so do I have quest? The Imperial, ah, yes, the Toxic Dump, that's right. That is correct. Okay, I'm thinking that this room should probably be enough. Let's go ahead and accept the quest, and what do we want for it? Do we want the plasma sword? Do I want the marine helmet and the archite capsules? Or do we want the locust armor? I mean, we're getting close to being able to build it, but there's no guarantee that I'll be able to do... Uh, a thing. Um, words. That I'll be able to make a Mastercraft version. 
but I mean, a locust armor would be kind of nice to have. Plus a tornado generator. I mean, I don't know how that exactly works, but this device has to be had blah, 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 which will generate a tornado at a chosen location. I mean, I'm wondering if we did that, could we wipe out... Could I wipe out those mechs without actually fighting? But then again, we we wouldn't have the goodies from there. Hmm. I'm trying to decide on what what is better. This capsule is useless by itself, but it can be spent at a gene assembler to create a new archite-powered xenogerm. This requires researching archogenetics and a gene pack that contains an archite gene. Archite gene packs can be obtained from traders. Yeah, see, I just, I don't know. Because I don't ever see these for sale, to be honest with you. Click for more info. I know I've done this before, but... Yeah, I don't know. The helmet or the armor? If I use the armor, I want it for I want it for one of my melee guys. So it'd probably go to Pepe. It's what it'd probably end up going to. That way, Pepe could jump straight into the uh, into the fight. Ah. <sighs> But I don't want to underestimate that marine helmet either, though. Built-in status computer, layered plastic weave plates, armor like this often used by incursion space marines. The plasma sword. I mean, because if we use that and gave it to gave it to Lance, Lance would probably just slice through some people like almost instantly, but urgh, what do I want? What do I want? I don't know. I'm going to do this one because I've never messed with the tornado generator before. So I'm going to do this one. We're going to get it. I did accept it, right? Oh, yep. I was about to say, wow, you had to dump them on my fields? Seriously? Oh, that is so messed up. Okay, Pep... I want you to wear that. Yeah, because you are you are a very skilled professional on the melee. You're going to be going in head on with stuff, so I want you to wear that. Oh, you already had well, you had the masterwork uranium plate. Someone else needs to come get this one though. Um deadlift. Yeah, Deadlift, you come get this one. So, yeah, Pepe will have the Locust Armor. Deadlift will have the Mastercraft Uranium Armor. We'll go from there. And as soon as it's uh, morning, we're going to get all this stuff cleaned up, hopefully. All over my fields. You know, you couldn't have dumped it out here. Oh, no. You had to dump it right here. Yeah, they're not going to get a whole lot done today. Oh, 
All right, while that's running, okay, see, now it's showing a line connected between both of these. Hold on. So if I were to do Deathless and the Heat one, yeah, see, we have 9 out of 10. So, yeah, we could do that. Xeno type, name type. Um, I don't know. I mean, they're not fire resistant. They're just, they're just more comfortable. So it increases their temperature by eighteen degrees that they can that they can deal with. So we can make a Xeno germ. Let's see. I don't know what to call it. Immortal. I mean, I wouldn't say. I don't know. I wouldn't really say that. I mean, mm. I don't know. I'm just going to call it Immortal Heat. Start combining. We'll do that. That'll be our first Xenogerm. We'll go with that. We'll start it out. We'll see what happens. Probably give it to Lance. Lance is pretty much maxed out on his skills, I think. I mean, his melee is at a 17. I don't know. We'll see. There's a fire. Where's a fire? What? Well, boom rat. Always the boom rat. Nah, don't nobody bother come putting it out. Seriously, you had to jump to a new one. Deadlift. Could could you come put this fire out, please? Or, or not, Cell can do it too. I mean, sometimes I wonder what's the point of being able to give them a direct order if they don't listen. The Immortal Heat, yeah. I mean, that doesn't make him not a Sangufage, right? Of course, the power goes out while he's in there. Uh, we've got to get over there and take out that fog machine. Maybe I should have done that first. Just out of curiosity, when I turn that on, ah, yes, so he can do the jump thing. All right. No, no, you keep going. You keep doing your thing. Food binge, Anita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simon, can you, like, butcher? Same with you, Bicep. Where are you at? There you are. You're wearing a little red hood thing. The fireproof red hood. I mean, it works. I mean, if it's fire resistant, why not?
So where is that? Well, let's let's let Lance finish because I want to try to do that tornado deal and see if we can't wreck the uh, those guys. Gene pack quick, fast runner deteriorating that in Gene Bank. Huh. Okay. So I wonder. I wonder whose genes we can like. I don't know. I'm gonna have to mess with stuff. I'm gonna have to play with things and see what happens here. How do I? How do I give somebody a gene? Like, can I give? No, that's just entering it. Can't do nothing there. Can't do nothing there. So, am I missing? Am I missing a machine? Let's see. We've got gene processor. We've got two of those. Gene extractor. I've got that. Gene bank. We've got that. Gene assembler. We've got that. And then what? Like, how do we... I can take people's genes, but how do I make them have a gene? Like, can I can I just, like, select Lance and click here? No. Eject. Slow study. Death rest. Uh, yeah, see, I don't... Yeah, but how do I give them to people? So they're implantable, so is it an operation? Ah, it is an operation. Okay. Okay, so yes, so that's how we do it. All right, so genes regrowing 13 days. Okay. I wish I could remove that one slow learning one out of the deathless one. That's what I wish. That'd be very, very nice. All right, so where is my tornado generator? That's the elbow blade, architect arm, leg... Marble Sculpture, Death List, Barrels, it did get picked up, right? Or not, because, you know, let's just, let's just let it sit out in the, uh, let's just let it sit out here and, you know, go bad type thing. Wearable by adult. What do you mean it's wearable? So you're telling me I have to be where it needs to be to unleash it? I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's like, hey, we're we're gonna show up and we're just gonna we're gonna put ourselves in danger. No, 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 no. So where is it war at? Like Prez, come get this. Cuz you're going to be on the assault team anyway. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that I could get it from from here, but what did what did he drop? Oh, he dropped his shield belt. No, 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 no. I don't like that. Um, you know what? Do do this. So, who is going to have Kirill, you're going to you're going to wear this?
Kirill has it. Okay, well, I guess it's... I'm going to say it's about that time we uh, we load up and we roll out. Yeah, we've got food. Well, we've got some food. Our food stocks are diminishing because of all the fog and all the stuff. So, yeah, we need to... We need to get over there pretty quick. Yep, yeah, so I want to send... We're going to send Pepe. I'm going to send Kirill. I'm going to send Ginger. Lance and Prez will go. Okay, so we've got three three melee guys going. Kirill will be... I'm really hoping we don't need to have a whole lot of uh, fighters, but we might need a couple. So we've got Kirill and Ginger bringing in guns. Probably be a good idea to have Cell with us with her chain shotgun to throw some, some hate down. Kolark could come. And that would give us, yeah, that'd give us a handful of weapons, all right. Should I bring, you know what, I'm going to bring Simon as well, just so we have one more. All right, how many do we got? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight people. All right, give me eight of the horses then. Give me three of those, four. Oh, actually, hold on. That one's a pregnant one. So we got three there. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We'll do that. We've got, yep, we've got supplies. Send them. I don't care. Confirm. That is where we wanted to go. Yep, weather controller. All right. So we're going to do that. We're going to send them out. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see if we can't. We're going to get there and we're going to unleash a tornado on wherever they're at and see what it does to them maybe it will wreck them maybe it won't i don't know we'll have to we'll have to figure it out when we get there but i'm hoping i'm hoping that between lance and uh prez and pepe that they'll be able to just you know jump straight into battle and just you know slice and dice and mess some people up but we'll see what happens have they not made it to the edge yet oh there they are right there yep off they go as soon as they get to the road they should pick up quite a bit of speed especially on the horses or they're gonna go you know camp out for the night i guess something Go Frenzy Pepe, huh? Okay, I was just making sure that he wasn't injured or anything. I probably should have made Lance have that operation with the deathless gene, but eh, it is what it is. Really? You're low on him? Seriously, you just, I just made you drink like six people's blood like yesterday. Like, what happened? Okay, well, Lance is probably not going to be in best shape. I mean, technically I can have him nibble on someone, but really no one needs to have blood loss while they're going to go fight. War Merchant showed up. Alright, so there they are. Where are we at? Over here. Alright, where is Kirill? He's out of range. 
There's a shield. There's a slugger. There's an ancient security turret. That one's not part of it, I don't think. There's that guy. There's auto charge turret. Hmm. Mech assembler. Dormant. Remaining mechs to assemble four. So technically, if we were to come around... All right, can I do the tornado deal now? Seriously, that's all that did? That is such a waste. That is such a waste. Prez, take that door down. Weather control destroyed. So if we leave, is it done or do I need to, do I need to destroy more? Cause I mean, I don't really care about fighting all this stuff. If it's not necessary, it's not necessary. Okay. Yep, take everything with you. That's it. Can I take the mech node? Seriously? Hold on. A self-powered mechanoid node of unknown function. Mech nodes can be deconstructed to yield valuable resources, but only if they are captured intact. The internal micro power cell will flame out and ruin the material if the unit takes too much damage. Huh. Okay. I mean, yeah, I guess take that stuff. Uh... Okay, are we good? I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so yeah, we, we got out of there with, with no no casualties. I like it. Technically, we could stop over here at, at the ancient complex too, but... I don't know, do we want to do that? I mean, we could... You know what, I'm going to go ahead and do it. We're, we're already out. We didn't take no losses. 
the tornado generator was a was a rip off. It didn't even damage anything. Let's go see what's in the ancient complex. We'll either get beat up or something good will happen. So I mean, we might as well check it out. Okay, so we're, it's up here. Okay. I don't know why you're trying to go over there. There's a door right here. Alright, where is Prez? Let me slow things down. Alright, all y'all move in. Nothing there. Can we not break through the wall? Dead bodies. It's dormant, huh? Is it already dead? Oh, no. Woo! They lit it up. They were not even playing with that thing. Hermetic crate. Okay. Actually, you go for that one. You go for this one. You go for that one. Nothing over there. Oh, we need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Oopsie. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Oh, and of course y'all are all outside. Get back in here. Who is this person? He's on Go Juice. Kill him. Actually, can you blood feed him? No. <laughs> I tried. Press, where are you going? Oh, 
Okay, well, let me see here. So we got a normal pump shotgun. We got some components. We've got some gold. We got some more gold. I don't need that body. A normal assault rifle. Don't need that body. Some components. Uh, that's nothing there. So we've got this container over here. Ginger, go open that container for me. So y'all do that. Um, y'all come over here. Prez, open up this container. Cell, open up that container. What did we get? Luciferium? I do not want Luciferium. Plastil. Uranium. I mean, Luciferium is good as far as, like, selling it. But, yeah, I mean, it's valuable, but I'm not going to mess with anything else. Link to Supply Satellite, Lance. Actually, Kirill, you're right here. Hack to Drop Supplies. Pods have arrived. Where? And they dropped what? Bison wool? Seriously? The ancient complex dropped bison wool for me. That is that is all the stuff, right? There is nothing. There is nothing else. That's just a lamp. Those are just beds, ancient locker, no, nothing, nothing there. Storage cylinder, no. Okay, well, I say we get out of here then. That's, uh, one of those deals, I guess. One of those deals. Let's go ahead and accept. We've got all of our stuff. Let's see. I want all the components. I really don't want the bison wool, to be honest with you. The Luciferium is worth 70 a piece. Man, I don't know. I I want to get it, but if one of the people with a chemical dependency, like, or the fascination, like Anita, get a hold of it, then she's going to die if we don't continuously supply it. And I'd rather not have her die. And then all this stuff down here. <sighs> so much junk. So, so much junk. Drop a couple of those off. Come back down here. I'm just going to take it just to take it. All right, yep, y'all get out of here. Shaky went berserk, huh? Uh, I think Lee's going to beat you down. Yep. T put him back in the bed and then shoved the pemmican in his mouth. He's like, here, eat this and be quiet. Oh, uh, that is so messed up. Booob, I know you're doing stuff, but, like, could you come in here and clean this mess? It is, like, literally a pigsty in here. And, and I'm not fully sure why that's so, so dirty. Yeah, it's in the cleaning zone. I guess nobody ever comes over here, though. They're just like, nah, we're, we're good. 
Seriously, now you're going to have a fit because I told you to come clean? Bicep, can you come clean? Since Booob is like apparently too good to clean and I can't make the slaves clean up their own mess. I mean, it might make them like less mad. Who had, no, not deadlift, bicep, no, not bicep, boob, no, you have yours, nard, no, T, no, okay, who just dropped a weapon out here, What? It, what is it, it's an excellent, excellent, uranium excellent longsword, Pepe, you didn't drop your sword, did you, I hope Pepe, you know, if we sent Pepe in there fist fighting, I would laugh. Because he actually beat some people up. I guess we'll figure it out here in a minute. Caravan has arrived. Let me see. Who doesn't have a weapon? Weapon. 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 Pepe was fist fighting. Pepe was fist fighting everything. Wow. That That's... That's all I got to say is Pepe was fist fighting. Pepe threw it down. That locust armor must have been pretty good then if that's all he came out with was a little scratch. So I'm pleased with it. I'll accept it. We'll go with it. You know, another day type thing. Lance, Lance needs some him. Seriously, you're going to have a fit. She won't actively resist. She'll like it. It'll be fine. Well, at least we got rid of the fog. That, that was the big thing. Getting rid of the fog is one thing. Now, we just got to get through the winter. Mm. How much food are we down to? Man, we are down to so little food. Yeah, I really wish that other trader would have been here still when I got back. Oh, well, I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to put some hunt orders on some of these animals here and like the doe population here, the bucks and the does. Yeah, we're just going to have to wipe all of them out. So that at least gives us a handful of food. So, so how long have we went through the volcanic winter? Uh, 18 days so far. Good thing we have the uh, the hydroponic room. That's uh, that's that's probably what's saving us and keeping us alive this long. And now Prez has low him. Whose birthday is it? Kirill, huh? Oh, yay. Kirill has hearing loss because he became old. Can I, can I put him... Can I put him in the... Uh... Can I reverse that with this? I'm going to try it. We're going to try it. Kirill, get into the pod. We'll see you in a week. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll reverse it. I, I don't know. Um, Prez, you're going to need to, you're going to need to drink some here. There we go. 
Okay, well, yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna see if we can't get something good out of stuff. So, we'll try that. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take deadlift, and I'm gonna say deadlift. Come enter the gene extractor. We're gonna see if we can't get some genes out of you. But anyway, guys, that is gonna be it for uh, today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys would like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said... Until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.